What is going on YouTube? Gamos here and welcome to this new video. So recently Ubuntu 17.10 officially launched and along with it we see a lot of changes, especially on the desktop side. In fact, the 17.10 release is the first one in a lot of time to ship with GNOME by default. And here are five reasons why the fact that Ubuntu now uses GNOME is a great thing. So with no further ado guys, let's get into it. Number one. By using GNOME, Ubuntu developers get to work on a desktop environment used by many other Linux distributions. This means that they benefit from the whole GNOME development across any of them, and in return, they are contributing upstream and will keep on doing so with all the improvements and bug fixes necessary to make the Ubuntu experience better. And in the end, this means that everyone that uses GNOME on any Linux distribution will have a much better experience thanks to Ubuntu. Number two. Developing and maintaining a desktop environment is no easy task. Back when Ubuntu was using Unity, a lot of work was put into it, especially since they started working on Unity 8 and the mirror display server. They were trying to pull off a whole new desktop stack and that would have been a huge amount of work. Now that Ubuntu uses GNOME, a well-established, stable and highly developed desktop environment, they can reroute a lot of the development power towards other things. Most notably, in this 17.10 release, Ubuntu improved support for Bluetooth audio, printing and hardware accelerated video playback. Number 3. Unity 7 used a lot of GNOME's components and libraries under the hood, and most of the time this meant that they had to hold those libraries back to older versions to keep the Unity desktop working. Now that Unity is gone, this is not the case anymore. Ubuntu 17.10 is the first version in a lot of time to ship with the latest GNOME desktop and libraries. I really hope it stays this way for the time being. Number 4. Unity didn't offer a whole lot of customization options. GNOME, on the other hand, has a few. Apart from changing the theme, on GNOME you can also use extensions. With extensions, you can radically change the way your desktop looks and behaves. There are a ton of extensions out there to fit any type of user and there are more coming. Also, since a big part of the Linux world uses Ubuntu, there will be more people using GNOME and this could mean that more people would probably like to create their own extensions and, why not, even nice new themes. And in the end, anyone using GNOME will benefit. Number 5. Ubuntu 17.10 is not only special because of its switch to GNOME, but also because now they're using Wayland by default. If you don't know what Wayland is, it's a modern display server and it's basically an alternative to the X.org server. The X display server is very old at this point and Wayland looks like it will be able to be a worthy replacement for it. Wayland has been in development for quite some time now and while some distros like Fedora were the first to pioneer it, having it as default display server in Ubuntu is a great opportunity for it to grow. Thanks to Ubuntu's popularity, Wayland will see a lot more use, driving development and bugs squashing forward and encouraging GPU vendors like Nvidia to implement better support for it in their drivers. So guys, this is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Also make sure to check out the TechPills website at techpills.technology. You will find the link in the description. So again guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.